Hey guys, so today we are going to talk about the terminal. So let's get into it. Now, terminal, shell, these sort of things. What am I talking about when I talk about the terminal? Well, to keep things a little bit simpler and as basic as I can make them, depending on the machine that you are on, you will have different types of terminals. And let's just talk about that. So for basically win a Windows machine, you will find it under the command prompt, as the command prompt, where you can enter, basically it op opens up a little black window where most likely it's going to say something like C colon something something and then you can type in some commands. And the same thing goes for Mac and for Linux, basically, where you have this idea of what we call a shell. Now a shell is just an interface. Now what is an interface? That's also a good question. Well an interface can be many many things, but in the context of this little talk, a interface or a shell is just a program that you use in order to execute commands on on the operating system basically you can think of it this way when you use your computer when you click a link on your desktop and it opens up a program or something of that sort what's actually happening is that you are interacting with a visual representation of an operation a program on your operating system now the shell does the same sort of thing but by using text by allowing you to execute a command with some text and then it starts the program for example now why in the world would this be useful well that's a great question you see the the thing is that there's actually depending on your shell and i'm going to scope this to the mac shell or the linux shell they basically have the same shell which is built on top something called bash and we'll talk about bash in just a moment windows is a little bit behind when it comes to shell shells and like the terminal over overall they're they're making progress and they're they're tr trying to take this a little bit more seriously because the shell is actually a very important it's a it, it is not necessarily the most important thing but it's very useful for people who are like us like programmers it's and i'll tell you why so the idea as to why this this like bash for example which stands for born again shell is that you have a interface where you can basically do like you can maneuver the file system you can grab files you can copy them you can do basically i, I can tell you this anything that you can think of that is feasible to do on your computer through a graphical interface you can do through the terminal virtually and you can do more now why is this useful well the reason why this is useful is because of for me it's two things like i use the shell for almost every every single thing and the reason why this is so powerful is because think about it this way when you need a graphical interface you literally have to open up a bunch of boxes you have to maneuver through all the controls and all the menus and so forth and so forth in the shell all you have to do is to remember know the command if you know the command you can literally just type it in and it will execute the operation that you want so although it's not as user friendly it's very powerful for what we call power users now what is a power user a power user is a non-standard user and if you are a programmer you are a non-standard user a standard user is a person who just has a computer in order to do normal things surf the web watch videos that sort of thing but you are a programmer so your use case is a little bit different and the reason why i think you should have a look at the shell and actually learn it fairly well is because if you work in web development for example or networking or anything of that sort it becomes very powerful and very useful to use the shell because it's very common that you use something like ssh ssh like secure shell to connect to other computers on the internet in order to execute commands in their terminals or in through their shells so what's so powerful about bash is that it's a it's basically an industry standard. I mean, I can tell you this right now, you as a junior may not know this, but the, the Linux shell is, it's virtually a standard across, like uh, it, it, Windows is, Microsoft's products are, are an exception, but for the most part, the 
way that you interact with your remote boxes is going to happen through the terminal. So it's actually very useful for you to learn the terminal and make it your own because there's still a lot of stuff that you can do to make it custom and you know create your own aliases and like your own short commands. It's actually a great deal of fun to learn the shell. It, it's tricky in the beginning, but once you know it and you know the commands and you understand how it works, you can actually work much faster than you could with a graphical interface for the most part. Now, there is a little bit of a learning curve to this, but trust me, if you invest the time to learn Bash, it's going to reward you a lot. You will find that you can do shell scripting, for example, you can automate entire workflows. And as I said, most of the time when if you work in DevOps or operations or anything like that, this is an extremely useful skill to have. You're pr trust me, I'll, I mean, I can give you an example, like I use a MacBook. I don't know a lot about the operating system, but I don't have to because I use the shell. And the shell is going to be universal. I can go between a Linux and a Mac almost as fast as I can, without any problems because they use the same type of shell structure. And through that shell, I can run all my programs, I can connect to remote computers, maneuver the file system, that sort of thing. So to me, using the shell is is something that every programmer should learn how to do. You ha don't have to use it all the time for absolutely everything, but trust me, you will become very productive and it's going to be one of the most useful skills that are like, that's not hard coding skills for you as a software developer. So I encourage you to have a look at Bash, learn how to set up your own profile, play around with some commands. Vim, for example, is a very nice text editor that you should have a look at as well. That is going to help you quite a bit. So start with these basics and learn the shell. Because once you know it, as I said, it's tricky in the beginning, but once you know it, you will be able to work much faster and you're going to have a skill set that is going to be universally useful for you for the rest of your career. Have a great day.